Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through how I would create a three idea sentence so you could hopefully follow the same steps and create some excellent three idea sentences in your own writing. So this is the question and the extract that I'm going to be writing about. Remember, you will always receive an extract and a question like this in your assessments. The question is, starting with this extract, how does Dickens present Bill Sykes? And the extract is from Monday's lesson, where Bill and his dog die. I've also chosen to focus my three idea sentence on this quote. At that very instant, the murderer, looking behind him on the roof, threw his arms above his head and uttered a yell of terror. So remember, this is the flowchart that we use to write our three idea sentences. And this is what I'm going to be using throughout today's video. Also, the quote is in the top right hand corner of the screen so I can refer back to it throughout the video. So, I need to generate my first idea. To do this, I'm going to ask myself, what does the quote make you think or feel about the character? This is the question that you should constantly ask yourself when you are writing your three idea sentences. Now, looking at the quote, it reminds me that Bill is a violent character because he is called a murderer. That is going to be my first idea, and by using the flowchart, I have written, this not only illustrates Bill's violence. So just to clarify, the quote has made me think about Bill's violence, and that is my first idea. Now, I need my second idea. To recap, I have my first idea, which is Bill's violence. And to help me come up with a second idea, I'm going to ask myself the same question. What does the quote make you think or feel about the character? So looking at the quote, it makes me think that Bill is scared because he yells in terror. That is going to be my second idea. And by using the flowchart, I have written, but further conveys his fear. Just to clarify, the quote has made me think about Bill's fear and that is my second idea. Now I need my third and final idea. To recap, I have my first and second idea, which is Bill's violence and his fear. As always, to help me come up with my third and final idea, I'm going to ask myself the question, what does the quote make you think or feel about the character? So, looking at the quote, it makes me think that Bill is paranoid because he keeps looking behind him like something is there. That is going to be my third idea, and by using the flowchart, I have written, and his paranoia. Just to clarify, the quote has made me think about Bill's paranoia, and that is my third and final idea. Now, altogether, I have written, this not only illustrates Bill's violence, but further conveys his fear and his paranoia. Obviously, I would have written a clear idea and an embedded quote before my free idea sentence, but we are very good at writing those, so it's better if we focus on practicing our three idea sentences. Now, go back to the worksheet to finish off today's task. And remember, you can come back to this video at any time if you need some help or guidance. The key thing to remember when writing your free idea sentences is to ask yourself, what does the quote make you think or feel about the character?